in fact, I was going to ask you, you talk about uh, having three guys back there. We were trying to figure out what to call that, that three tight uh, running back set that yeah. lines up behind the quarterback. Yeah, it's we, not the we, hand, we, but we, it, we don't know we what to call it. it. We, we uh, that's, called our, that's called our big package. It was almost the bacon or the beef. <laughs> See, we uh, called it the turkey. <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, that's just called our big package. Um, and then a big part of that package also is uh, James Shaw comes in at tight end, um, who is just an extension of the offensive line. Um, another one that's completely unselfish because he may, I don't even know if James has a catch on the year. Um, but absolutely goes in there and gets after it. He's one that I was told that it was a selfish player, and he played defensive end, and if I asked him to come over on offense, he wouldn't do it. And uh, so I pulled James in and said, James, we, we need an extra tight end. Will you come up? Absolutely, Coach, whatever the team needs. It was like night and day different from what I'd heard when I had come in. Um, and he has been a huge part. Uh, like, for example, the big package we've been running – we did not even have in when we played Smithville the first time. He's had a uh, – James Shaw has had a couple of pancakes that were so obvious we couldn't help but call mm -hmm. them. And I, yep. you or Kelly, I think, mentioned it at one point. And it was like, oh, my gosh. I mean, we just saw him absolutely dump truck a defender. I mean, yeah. it, it was frightening. He came he came off the field Friday and goes, Coach, you see that? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, you flat backed him. He goes, no, I flat backed him three times <laughs> on the same play. He goes, after the second one, I told him to stay down and he wouldn't, so I flat backed him one more oh, time. Oh, you love uh, a guy that likes his so, work. 